I feel like it's really important to teach people to be generous in so many ways. You know, we should use our gifts to serve others. We should use our gifts to grow the kingdom, to make the world a better place. We should use our talents in the same way and our treasure. And so uh, my sons, whenever they come into money, we try to share with them that, look, this is great. You can go buy that Lego set, that toy, whatever, but you should save some of it. You should give some of it away. I think what excites me the most is the, the potential that we have as a congregation through the generosity of all of our members. One of my favorite things about coming here every Sunday is when we're driving up 27 and we turn into the parking lot, seeing all the cars that are passing. And I always pray and think, God, what would it take to have that car one day turn right or turn left in our parking lot instead of keep going? Because if we're not careful, it's just gonna be a pretty building with no substance. How are we going to change lives? How are we gonna impact the kingdom through this space? And Shaken answered those questions for me. It, it took what was a, a more nebulous or kind of big picture concept and narrow it down to say, this is how we're gonna impact people both internally and externally. So not just the folks who come every Sunday, but the communities of Ross, of Hamilton, of Oxford, Coleraine, wherever we reach, um, this is gonna bring this to life and show us how we're gonna change these communities and change these people and ultimately hopefully change their hearts. So the biggest reason we made a shaking commitment to White Oak really goes back to before I think the entire concept of shaking was conceived, or at least that we were aware of it. We wanted a community, we wanted a place where we could put down roots, uh, that we could grow our children uh, alongside people with like-mindedness. And so as we began to fall in love with everything that White Oak is and everything they stand for, we knew that we wanted to have a deeper connection and we wanted to invest financially and, and tithe and so when the Shaken campaign really took off, uh, we went to that first meeting down at Union Terminal and I uh, loved that entire night. But um, just hearing the mission and the vision, knowing what the church had already accomplished through the construction of this building, it really was not a large leap of faith for us to say, yes, this is something we want to buy into. This is something we want to be a part of, something that we want to support. Um, it really just was the next step in our faith journey through White Oak. For my wife and I, it was never a matter of if, it was just how we were gonna be involved. We knew we wanted to be all in, we wanted to be committed. And so me as somebody who, not all the time, but many times will jump in and then worry about the details later, uh, I just wanna encourage anybody who is on the fence to take that leap of faith and to just keep showing up, keep coming on Sundays, find ways to get involved. Not every shaken story is gonna be identical and you should never compare it to somebody else's, but to have one of your own is important and you need to make that decision that yes, I want to have a shaken journey because this journey you're on is not just about shaken, it's about your walk with God and your walk with Christ.